AC here with the Sweet Pea Chef. And given that we are all in our homes right now in shelter in place, we have to rely a lot on our pantries and our kitchen foods that we have available. A lot of times that can be overwhelming if you've never really stocked a pantry. So today I wanted to share with you some essentials that it would be great to have in an emergency for your stocking your pantry, your fridge, and your freezer. All of these items are gonna help you maintain healthy, nourishing meals for the whole family so that you make sure that you guys are safe and healthy during this intensely crazy time. So you might be wondering, life is crazy right now, there's a crisis going on, why the heck should I be focusing on eating healthy? Well, that's a really good question and I think a lot of us have gone through that thought process, especially in a time of crisis. Eating healthy helps boost your immune system. That means you're gonna have less opportunity to get sick, you're gonna be able to take care of others, and you're not gonna have more issues to deal with during the crisis. You'll feel better about yourself if you stay on track, which will help you avoid going into a depression and feeling worse about things. You'll be able to function better physically if you're eating healthy proteins and healthy fats rather than feeling sluggish from unhealthy foods. Eating healthy will help lower your blood pressure and you'll have less inflammation from processed foods if you're eating healthy, unrefined foods. So let's get started. All right, so let's dive into how to keep a healthy pantry full of stocked important ingredients that you can grab that don't require any refrigeration. Consider that these items you're gonna wanna buy in bulk because they last longer and they're also cheaper when you buy in large amounts. Plus, having a lot of this on hand will help you increase the mass of each meal so you can add to certain meals to make them last longer and go farther for more portions. Unsweetened applesauce, pumpkin puree, canned tomato sauce, nut butters like peanut butter, almond butter, canned beans and legumes, extra virgin olive oil, coconut oil, grains like quinoa, rice, and oats, sweeteners like coconut sugar, raw honey, and pure maple syrup, low sodium bone broths or vegetable broths, canned coconut milk, Protein powders, so you can maintain high levels of protein in your smoothies or in any baked goods. And unrefined noodles and pasta. So if you're gonna be baking also, I suggest having the following ingredients on hand so that you can bake almost anything using just your ingredients in your pantry. Unrefined flour, like whole wheat pastry flour, spelt flour, buckwheat flour, a gluten-free flour, whatever works best for you. Vanilla extract, dark chocolate morsels, dark cacao powder or dark cocoa powder, dried fruits like apricots, raisins, cranberries, apple cider vinegar or balsamic vinegar or red wine vinegar. Those can all be added to your food and can add a lot of flavor. Baking powder and baking soda, which is gonna help anything rise in the oven if you're making breads or muffins or even pancakes on the stove. Sea salt and ground black pepper, plus additional seasonings that are just basic seasonings like ground cinnamon, cumin, dried herbs or dried garlic, and some dried yeast, which is really helpful if you are looking to bake some breads or make some pizza dough. So keeping foods fresh in an emergency in the refrigerator is a great idea. The problem with what's going on right now is it's more difficult to get those items from grocery stores, but if you're able to replenish on a semi-weekly basis or so, these items are gonna really help add nutrients and vitamins and freshness to your meal. So consider how much you're gonna need so that it won't go bad in your fridge, but you'll also be able to use them in your meals. Foods like cheese, we keep cottage cheese, string cheese, cheddar cheese, provolone cheese, sliced cheese, chunks of cheese, enough that we can add to our meals but that won't go bad by the end of the week. Eggs and egg whites, both of these items last a pretty long time in the fridge and are very valuable sources of protein and fat, so definitely good to have these on hand. Dairy or plant-based milks spinach and other greens like mixed baby greens or kale, fresh fruits like apples and oranges, plain Greek yogurt, butter, which is an excellent source of fat, and condiments to help make your foods taste better to help you eat them, like mustard and ketchup and low sodium soy sauce. 
So if you have freezer space, having foods that are stored in your freezer is gonna be really, really helpful. You can have all of your fresh stuff and your fresh vegetables and fruits in the fridge. This is gonna be really helpful for foods like proteins and fruits and vegetables. So here's my list for what to have in your freezer. Frozen vegetables like peas, green beans, edamame, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, and carrots. Frozen fruits like berries and mangoes and strawberries, pineapples and bananas. Fish, you can have pork roasts that you can then thaw and then cook in a slow cooker or you can have pork chops that you can cook individually or pork tenderloin. Ground beef or ground bison or if you're not a fan of beef you can have ground chicken or ground turkey or ground pork. I recommend storing your ground meats in smaller portions. For example when we cook our meats we cook about two pounds that way when I thaw it out it's only what I need for that day. If I have more then I'll store it separately so that it's easy to grab, easier to thaw and then I don't have any weight. Boneless and skinless chicken breasts and thighs, these can be added to almost any meal. They're really easy sources of protein. They're healthy and they defrost fast and they cook quickly. Also, seafood like shrimp is a biggie. It, it's really easy to thaw out and then it stores well and you can just defrost it and cook it and add it to any pasta. We store a lot of breads in our freezer, so we'll have things like English muffins and breads and bagels that are ready and cooked. All we have to do is thaw them on the counter for a few hours and then then you can use them. And having them in the freezer means they'll last a lot longer than they would in our pantry. And frozen starches like butternut squash and sweet potatoes are really great to have frozen in cubed form already because that way they thaw a lot quicker. It's also really important once you have all of these essential items in your house, once you make the food, how you store it. Because how you store your food will also determine how long it will last in your fridge. And we want to have our food last as long as possible in a crisis because it can be very difficult to get more food to replenish what you've used. So I have a whole video on meal prep containers which lists out all of my favorite ones. You're gonna wanna pay attention to having individual meal prep containers that are glass and airtight. Mason jars with lids are very helpful in different sizes. And I have my silicone bags that I use both for freezing foods and keeping them fresh in the refrigerator. Check out my What I Eat in a Day COVID-19 edition to see how I utilize my pantry and my fridge to make sure I eat healthy on a day-to-day -day basis. And I will see you in the next video.